Hi, I'm Lucy Biedno with the ARC of Northern Virginia. This three minute webinar is gonna take a quick look at some of the common developmental disability services terms and acronyms, also known as who or what is this thing we're talking about? Let's look at some of the most common people and agencies involved in developmental services in Virginia. First, support coordinators and case managers are terms that are used interchangeably. They are the people who work at our local community services boards. Community services boards are the local agencies that oversee mental health, developmental disability, and substance use services, and the people who work directly with individuals with disabilities and their families to help them navigate and find services are support coordinators, also called case managers. Those people are helping you often navigate services called the developmental disability waivers. There are three developmental disability waivers in Virginia. The Community Living, or CL, waiver. That has the most robust supports. It's a Family and Individual Supports, or FIS, waiver, with the largest number of people served and services that serve most people. And the Building Independence waiver, or BI waiver, that serves individuals who are adults living in fairly independent situations. The next really important group to know is the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services. DBHDS is their acronym, and some people say DBUDS. DBUDS is our state agency who oversees the community services boards and thereby oversees waiver services. The next group that's important to know is DARS. You may have a case manager with DARS. DARS is the Department of Aging and Rehabilitative Services. They're the state agency with local offices that helps people with developmental disabilities find employment opportunities. So that could be everything from employment preparedness to on the job training. When you're working with them, you'll have a case manager who'll help you line up your services. If you're using one of the developmental disability waivers and you choose to direct your own services, meaning you choose to hire exactly who you want to help you, that's called consumer directed services instead of working with an agency. And to use consumer-directed services, you work with a service facilitator. That service facilitator will help you figure out where to place ads, how to conduct an interview, and how to fill out hiring paperwork. Lastly, if you're working with the school system, you will have an employment transition representative, commonly called an ETR. They usually work with students 14 and older to help them plan for leaving school and entering the adult world. Remember, we're always there for you at thearcofnova.org, and you can ask us questions online anytime at thearcofnova.org slash answers. We invite you to learn more at our supported decision-making library and our Transition Points Toolkits, where we'll get you everything you need for people with disabilities from birth till end of life.